Have you ever wondered why people refer to the Internet as the World Wide Web? It has a lot to do with connected documents and nothing to do with spiders. Part of what makes the Internet a web is the connectivity of the documents on the Internet. Not only is it connected by phone wires, but also by a series of interconnected documents. Documents are connected on the web by hyperlinks. These hot links enable users to jump from one page to the next with just a click of the mouse. We've created a web page that contains directions to the Ivy Lodge. We'll create a hyperlink between the two pages, allowing users to jump from our brochure to the directions page. We'll place our link at the bottom of the page. We enter the hyperlink's name, Directions to Ivy Lodge. Before we can make this text a hyperlink, we first need to select it. We'll use the Insert Hyperlink button. When we click on it, the Insert Hyperlink dialog box opens. If we wanted to, we could link to any document on the Internet. The document we want to link to is on this computer. We'll use the Browse button to select it. We click on it and select our file directions by double-clicking on it. Our file name is inserted in the dialog box. When we click on OK, our hyperlink displays. Inserting the link was simple. Let's try it out. Notice how our mouse pointer resembles a hen when we point to our new link. This tells us that clicking on this link will take us somewhere else. In this case, it will connect us to our directions page. We click on it, and the directions page is displayed. Our hyperlink works perfectly. Word has more tools that will help us work with our web pages, one of which is the Internet Toolbar. This toolbar can be used to navigate the Internet or to navigate between any documents on our computer. The location of our file is shown in the address window. This toolbar contains several tools for navigating the Internet, such as locating favorites, searching the web, and moving to other pages. Clicking on the Back button will jump us back to the last page we viewed. We click on it, and our flyer redisplays our hyperlink. Notice that it's now a different color. This reminds us that we've already viewed this particular link. We have one more hyperlink to add to jump to our home page on the Internet. Our home page is our primary Internet page, normally the first page most users see. Adding this link will enable our viewing audience to jump to our home page with one click. We'll place the insertion point and type our new link. This time, we'll type the Internet address exactly. We type, visit us on the web at http colon slash slash www dot ivy lodge dot com. When we press the space bar, Word automatically turns it into a hyperlink. Connecting information on the internet sure has come a long way since the old days. With Office, a point here and a click there, we can create and link our web pages. You may want to take a moment now to practice your new skills. When we come back, you'll learn how you can instantly create a web page using one of the new web templates.